It's Saturday, July 25th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. Today we're in Lake City, Colorado, heading on the Transamerica Trail west through the passes and on towards Monticello, Utah later today. Quick view of the fifth and ninth stage bleed airs. Thanks, Jenny. Coffee up, coffee time. Thanks. Bleed air on the uh, 737 Emergency Airworthiness Directive and why this fifth stage bleed air is so critically important. This is an easy AD, an easy fix for these aircraft that are coming out of storage with these sticky valves. But here's how that system works. The aircraft is always pressurized. You're always using bleed air to inflate the balloon to keep the aircraft pressurized. My seat is sinking here. That air is typically bled off of during high power settings, the fifth stage of the compressor. Remember the compressor is measured in stages. Each disc, each compressor disc represents an additional stage of, of the compressor section and the higher the number of the stage, the higher the pressure. So you're bleeding air off of two stages, the fifth stage and the ninth stage. So the pressure from the fifth stage compressor section is adequate to pressurize the aircraft under high power settings. So that valve is normally open for takeoff, climb and cruise. The ninth stage bleed air is closed. Now when you go to reduce the power to start your descent, the pressure coming out of the fifth stage is inadequate to keep the aircraft pressurized so now you need to start bleeding air from the ninth stage compressor section so now when you reduce the power the ninth stage bleed air opens and the fifth stage bleed air needs to close why because if the fifth stage bleed air valve sticks open the high pressure ninth stage bleed air will flow through the stuck open fifth stage stage bleed valve and into the compressor section causing compressor stalls. That high pressure airflow will disrupt the airflow over the compressor blades just like a wing stalling on an aircraft, completely disrupting the airflow, dropping the pressure and that allows the, the compressor stall, that allows the high pressure energy from the turbine section to just eject right out the front of the engine. Get that bang 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 noise. So what's the procedure for that? Anytime you get a compressor stall, you retard the throttle. If the engine does not stop compressor stalling, you need to shut that engine down. Because typically, engines compressor stall for things like a bird strike or some kind of internal damage in the engine, and you need to get that thing shut down. If, if you don't need to accelerate the demise of the engine by going to a higher power setting in an effort to stop it from compressor stalling. You need to retard that throttle and shut it down if it won't stop compressor stalling. Why this AD only pertains to Boeing aircraft, I don't know. These engines are common with the Airbus A320 series other than it has been a four 737s that have had this problem and thus the AD. Again, the chances for a dual engine failure because of this are very remote. As there's, these are two completely separate systems. Agent Jay-Z, if you're out there, if you already have a video on these, on these valves, you can post the link down below. If not, consider doing a video and show us what these valves look like and how they operate. We'd appreciate it. So we got some low clouds, low visibility, and light precipitation here in this part of Colorado. We're expecting sunnier conditions as we head over towards Utah. Thanks again so much for your support and your support over on Patreon. See you here.